I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Thank you for joining me. Having some more fun today with the Gateway series. Um, guys, you know the Gateway pepper? I think the most common Gateway pepper is probably the jalapeno. Uh, from there, it probably jumps to like the habanero and kind of starts your path. But the jalapeno is typically, for a lot of people, the Gateway pepper, meaning it's a door opener. You guys get it? Um, we're doing a, a, a number of series in the gateway sauces. I say gateway because these are the stuff that you have in your local stores. You probably, some of you probably have this on your shelf at home. This is Louisiana, the original, the perfect hot sauce. See what it says right there? One drop does it. You think? One drop does it. We're going to find out. All right, I picked this up at Walmart, 98 cents for six ounces. I got to tell you something. 98 cents. One of the reasons it's mainstream is it's so cheap. I got to wonder the, the, bottle, the bottle and the process to put it in and package it is probably 90% of the cost of this. I mean, how much do they have in the extra? I mean, think about this. The bottle, the packaging, the labeling. The, the, that probably costs as much as what, what's inside it. 98 cents. It's a remarkable price. Let me tell you what's in this thing. It's made in New Iberia, Louisiana. So it is a Louisiana-style Louisiana hot sauce. I, here we go. All that's in this is aged peppers, vinegar, and salt. And that is it. Three ingredients. Can't get much more simple than that. Aged peppers vinegar and salt there is the consistency it is a thin sauce gotta believe there's going to be a uh, floor restrictor on this thing if i can get it open here we go all right no floor restrictor because the, the tip is small enough that it is a floor restrictor that's the idea of this. You just make the tip so small that it is one giant flow restrictor. That's where the term bottleneck comes from. All right. Vinegar, vinegar peppers. That's it. Here we go. One, here, let's say they say one drop will do it. There. All right, I'm done. See, here's my one drop, you guys. That's it. One drop did it. No, I can't taste it with one drop. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Big tablespoon of Louisiana hot sauce. It's the perfect hot sauce. The original, since one drop didn't do it, a tablespoon might. I'm Johnny Scoville. This is Chase Eat. You know, it's a funny thing. I'm not a sauce snob. I don't care about labels. I don't care about. I mean, look, that's not true. I care about the way it looks. I like fancy. I like nice, pretty labels. It is the whole package. I like the smell. I like the taste, the look, the color, everything. But I got to tell you something. 98 cents. This is a bargain for 98 cents. It's just a vinegar forward Louisiana hot sauce. Peppers, Louisiana, and so, uh, peppers, vinegar, and salt. Exactly what the ingredients say. One drop, it's not hot. This doesn't even move my needle. So it might be, I don't know if this even has like maybe 400 Scoville units. It's very, very low on the Scoville scale. But it tastes good. I mean, it has a nice taste. I mean, it'd be great on eggs. You know what I mean? I have to tell you, I mean, I, I, you know, if I was somewhere in some place on a vacation that I had no hot sauce with me, I went to a store, I'd buy this to put on eggs or stuff. 98 cents.
peppers, vinegar, and salt. Very simplistic. But you know, sometimes the simplest things are, are, are good. Now, if you had this exact sauce, but instead of using just aged peppers, you used um, scorpion peppers, I'd like it a lot more. So this, this might be, I don't know if I can give it a one. If half half of my scale of one to 10 for my heap. For a non-chili head, this would be like a three. But it has its place. There's a reason that they sell this in large quantities. It's not a bad hot sauce. I shouldn't say it. it's not a bad pepper sauce. It's not a hot sauce, but it's not a bad pepper sauce. All right. So what I would urge you to do next time you're in your store uh, somewhere and you see one of, a bottle like this, grab it, chase a little heat, expand your uh, pepper horizon, uh, horizon. You know, expand, try new things. Let 2018 be the season where you chase heat and try different things. Um, eat a pepper you haven't before. Um, try a sauce you haven't before. Um, try some salsa, venture out. And when you do, let me know about it. Cause you know what? We're all chasing heat together, aren't we? That's why I call it Chase the Heat. Cause you, I'm talking to you and you know I'm looking, I'm looking at it and you know I'm talking to you. You're, you're chasing the heat. You're just doing it at a different pace than I'm doing it at. You know, we're all chasing the heat though. That's why we can all relate to this, you know? I want this channel to be something that draws people in and makes people go, whoa, I, I want to try some of that. Not, oh my God, he threw up or oh my, it looks like he's killing him. Listen, the sauce world and peppers and powders and salts, it's beautiful. That there are so many health benefits coming up from a guy who just got over being sick. That's the first time I've been sick in probably six or seven years. But there are great health benefits of peppers. You know, I don't have any stomach problems ever. Um, you, know, you know, another thing people always say, ah, you have no taste buds. I think because my tolerance is really high, it allows me to taste subtleties and sauces and peppers that I think you couldn't taste if you were just new at it, you know? But at any rate, expand, expand, explore. You know, ships are, are safe in the harbor, but they weren't made to sit in the harbor. Don't let your ship sit in the harbor. Go out there, explore, investigate, eat more sauces, eat more hot foods. Try it. You'll like it. It's a slippery slope, though. Be careful. But thanks for watching. Um, so get some of the sauce, and when you do, let me know what you think of it. Right here, you'll see the Chase E. Flowing Pepper. Click on that pepper, please. Become a subscriber to the channel. Let's go. When you do, part of the Scoville Squad. You're part of it. I appreciate that. If you click on the bell, by the way, you won't miss any of these videos because we'll notify you when we upload new ones. Thanks for watching. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.